Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this small inverter to produce 120 volts AC from a DC source. It is based on the popular 555 timer circuit and it is wired to work at 60 Hz, which is the frequency of the electric current in your house. And uh, we have also a transformer to increase the voltage from the 12 to 14 volts that we have at the input to 120 volts AC at the output. It is a square weight inverter, very simple. And of course, since the 555 timer only handles 200 milliamps maximum at its output, we need also a transistor, a MOSFET transistor, to handle enough current to feed the transformer. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Here is the circuit. It is very simple. The 555 timer is connected as usual to work in a stable mode, that is, it will have an output at pin 3 that is a square wave which is fed to the MOSFET transistor. I am using an IRF3205 but you can use any power MOSFET channel N uh, for this circuit. Uh, it works with 12 to 15 volts DC. You need to vary this current, uh, this voltage, sorry, until you obtain the output voltage that you need around 110 volts at 60 Hertz. The frequency is controlled by this capacitor and the resistors. And uh, the voltage that we have at the input is increased with the transformer. It must be a transformer that is 12 to 220 volts. And uh, since we need to increase the voltage, this coil is the 12 volt coil that is which is normally the secondary and we are using it as primary and the other coil is the 220 volts coil okay i have connected the oscilloscopes to check the output from the 555 timer and uh, also the multimeter to check the voltage at the output of the transformer so let's see I am feeding the circuit with 13 volts and we get 114 volts at the output. We can vary to obtain more or less voltage. And here you can see the square wave that is fed to the transformer. The output is also a square wave. It is not a pure sine wave uh, uh, inverter. It's very simple. And the, it is uh, telling that the frequency is almost 75 hertz which is more than we need we want 60 hertz but remember that you can adjust the frequency by varying the capacitance and resistance in the 555 circuit so you can fine tune uh, until you get the right frequency so this is a very simple inverter uh, as I told you before, it is not a sine wave inverter, but it is a square wave. And that means that you cannot use it for inductive loads like motors, uh, only for resistive type loads. For example, small radios uh, to, to connect uh, your cell phone charger or uh, small power lamps, etc. And uh, the, the, the power output depends on the transformer that you are using. With this small transformer, it should be around 15 to 20 watts maximum. Uh, so let's now uh, connect uh, a load to, to check if it is working properly. Okay, I will check it with this uh, LED lamp, a uh, uh, small 
small consumption lamp connected to the output of the inverter. So let me turn on the power supply. And there you have the lamp is on and it is working OK. So there you have it, a very simple inverter that you can build uh, very quickly and with a few components. I hope you liked the video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.